What is going on? My name is Austin Zayback, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the things that you need to start an ATM business. All right, maybe you're new here. Maybe you've watched 157 videos on getting started in the ATM business and you are still a thousand percent unsure of what you need to get started in the business. You really don't even know left from right at this point. You think you need a contract and a bunch of other random stuff and a ton of money and maybe a cassette full of cash and just like backpacks and loads and loads of more money. And I'm here to break down exactly what you need to get started in the ATM business. Look, here's the deal. At the end of the day, there's a ton of people out there just like you and just like me making a ton of money with the business. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, right? There, there, there's people that I just look at and I'm just like, how in the world are you in the ATM business? And I mean, sometimes in all honesty, I think that about myself when I wake up in the morning and look in the mirror. I'm like, how in the heck did you ever get into a business where you just go to bed at night and make money passively day after day, month after month, year after year? All she wants for Christmas is a street daddy flirt. The reality of it is I'm not that smart of a guy. You know, I mean, I, at the end of the day, I didn't do well in school. I didn't go to college. And somehow or another, I fell into the business. I make a decent amount of money. And it just got me thinking, like, if I can do it, anybody can do it. And I think what's stopping most people is that they just don't know what in the world they need to get started. But I'm here to shatter all of the misconceptions that you have about getting started in the ATM business. But first, if you haven't already, smash that like button because it will help the YouTube gods get this video in front of a ton more people that need to get in the business. Okay, let's jump into it. First and foremost, you're gonna need an ATM. Okay, what you're looking at right here is a Gen Mega 2500. What you're looking at right here is a Halo 2 made by Hisong. Both of these are my favorite ATMs, okay? Uh, again, the Gen Mega 2500 is a very simple, simple ATM that you can buy for about $2,000 to $2,500. The Halo 2 made by Hisong, again, is about the same price, anywhere from $2,000 to $2,500, just depending on where you buy it from. Both of these machines are phenomenal machines that you could buy, have at your front door in probably five to maybe 10 business days, get set up, rocking and rolling, and you could be making passive or residual income in a matter of 14 days. Don't overcomplicate this. You're buying an ATM machine. It's no different than buying something from Amazon, like a plant, okay, or a, a, a like a boss sign or even a coffee mug. You just order the machine, it shows up at your door with some instructions on how to get it going. And I mean, really, that's pretty much it. I mean, again, if I can do it, you can do it. And there's a bunch of other people on YouTube talking about the ATM business, by the way, that aren't in the ATM business. So just be careful who you listen to. The second thing you're gonna need is an ATM contract. Now, an ATM contract, it's one of those things where I'm not gonna lie to you. Everybody and their mom, I swear to God, when they get into any business, whether it be wholesaling real estate, getting in the ATM business, or going and becoming an esthetician, or whatever in the world they're doing, I, I don't know why, but the number one thing that people get caught up on is where do I get my contract? I mean, I'm to a point where I don't even understand anymore, right? People wanna go get a landscape company off the ground, and the number one thing that seems to be stopping everybody is a freaking contract. I mean, really, no matter what business or industry that you're in, if you're watching this video right now, you know what I'm talking about. You're, you, you, like everybody in the comment section down below is like, yeah, but Austin, I, I would get into business right now, but I don't have a contract, and, and therefore, they just go to college, and they like, they spend a hundred grand to go become a doctor or a lawyer or, or start a pool company or do something else because I mean, in all reality, they just, they don't have the contract. And I'm here to tell you, you shouldn't go just join the statistic because of a piece of paper. I mean, look, at the end of the day, if you wanna go do something else with your life, I encourage you to do just that. I, I'm not saying you have to start the ATM business. I, I'm not saying that there's any specific business that you need to start. What I am saying is that if, they, if a piece of paper is getting in your way of your goals and your dreams, you need to just smash the subscribe button. Okay, look, here's the deal. A contract is a piece of paper. I've done a lot of deals in my life. A lot of deals where I just shook their hand. And I said, look, here's what we're gonna do for you, right? And that was all, there was just a handshake. We didn't have a contract or anything like that. I've done other deals where I take a blank piece of printer paper and I write out exactly the terms and conditions that I'm thinking that I want to implement, right? And now again, 
I I'm not a doctor or a lawyer and in no way, shape or form am I giving you legal advice. I'm just here to let you know that in my life, uh, I've done a lot of deals without some big fancy contract. So again, I encourage you to figure out what works best for you, but do not over complicate the contract. And again, we have Google at our fingertips. So I just encourage you to please, please think outside of the box and figure this part of it out and do not let a contract hold you back. And again, smash the subscribe button. Moving right along, you need $100,000 in cash. I'm just playing around. You do not need $100,000 in cash. As a matter of fact, you do not need a lot of money at all to get started in the ATM business. But if you stay till the end of the video, I'm gonna show you what I have in my goodie bag, which I promise you nobody else is talking about on YouTube. So I'm gonna put this goodie bag right over here for just a minute. We'll jump into it here in just a second. But before that, you're gonna need a cassette. This comes with the ATM and it does not come with $100 bills. As a matter of fact, most ATMs don't even take $100 bills. I don't know where these even came from, but I'll keep them. But again, this comes with the ATM, so you don't have to worry about this right now. Wait till you buy an ATM. This is super simple. This is what you're gonna be loading basically every week. The bills come out right here. If you can see that right there, uh, it's pretty simple really. I have no idea how it works. I just know that at the end of the day, when you fill this thing full of cash and you put it into an ATM, nine times out of 10, bad boy is gonna work. Number four, you need an internet connection. Look, if you don't have ethernet that you can run from the Wi-Fi box to the ATM, you can plug this in typically right behind the ATM, which will actually pick up on the Wi-Fi signal at the location of the place you're installing the ATM. And then you can actually plug an ethernet cable right into here, into your ATM, and boom, you have an internet connection. Another option obviously is just to run an ethernet cable right from the router to the ATM. But again, in either scenario, you do need Wi-Fi to have an ATM. Number five is a backpack. This is what you're gonna put all your utensils in when you're filling your ATM, including your cash and everything that we're gonna have in this bag. Also, uh, any, any tools that we're gonna need and things of that nature. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Next thing you're gonna need is a water bottle because your body is 60% water and at the end of the day, you can't make any passive or residual income if you don't stay hydrated. Number six, I believe, is a buddy or a gun. I would show you a gun right here, but uh, I don't have a real gun right now just because I'm in my, uh, I'm in my office. That so probably wouldn't be a good idea, but you need a buddy or a gun. Now, I'll show you a picture of my buddy too, and uh, either one can work, okay? A gun, obviously, if you have somebody approach you, you wanna make sure that you show them that you're armed and you are not to be messed with. A buddy, obviously, I mean, again, as you can tell from the look of my buddy, he'll beat you to death at the end of the day, and you don't wanna mess with him, probably more than you wouldn't wanna mess with a gun. I would encourage you for this tip to make sure you choose the right buddy. Again, if you're not gonna have a gun, you want somebody that looks like this. I know, I know. He's a very mean looking friend of mine and uh, he'll attack you, okay? Like straight up without a shadow of a doubt, he will attack you and beat you to death if you try to mess with me while I'm filling an ATM. So I encourage you again to make sure that you think again if you ever try to mess with me while I'm filling an ATM. Tip number seven, or item number seven that you need when starting an ATM business is a Prius, okay? And I'm gonna show you right here what my Prius looks like, but again, this Prius gets on average 50 miles to the gallon, and I'll tell you what, I wouldn't have it any other way. When I'm out and about filling an ATM, there's nothing like knowing I'm getting 49 miles to the gallon, and it is not costing me a ton of money to fill my ATMs. The last thing I wanna do is eat all of my profit while literally just driving around filling the machines. Anyways, the Prius is amazing. Thing number eight that you're gonna need is good people skills. You're gonna be able to close deals by leveraging good people skills, right? I mean, at the end of the day, if you can't talk to people, I don't know what you're doing in business anyway. So again, look at yourself in the mirror, practice talking to yourself a few times, and I promise you, if you can talk to yourself, you can talk to other people. And last but not least, you're just gonna need a bag full of random items, okay? So let's just go ahead and jump this out and see what exactly we have in here. I have a mouse, 
Don't ask me why I have a mouse in here. Um, this probably actually isn't even relevant. Uh, maybe it is, okay? If you have toppers on your ATMs, which we can talk about in another video. I have a knife. Now make sure when getting a pocket knife, you get a pocket knife that has a picture of money on it because you do not want to be cutting anything um, and people to not take you seriously because you just have a plain old pocket knife. You wanna make sure again that you have money on your pocket knife. You're gonna need a couple of ATM keys uh, to actually open your ATM. You're gonna need a screwdriver because you can never go wrong with a good solid screwdriver. You're gonna need an Allen wrench because again, what would you do out in the field without an Allen wrench? You're gonna need a flashlight just in case you go out there and somebody tries to mug you or you get a flat tire or you're trying to find uh, all, all the money that you lost, whatever the case is, you can never go wrong with a handy dandy flashlight. And you might even need a couple of stickers to tell you that your ATM is protected and nobody should mess with you. Also, what can you do without a good quality pen? Well, there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and these are all of the things that you're gonna need to get started in the ATM business. I know that I made this video a little bit funny and uh, we just had a bunch of fun during the video. But again, the thing that I wanna share with you is that getting into the ATM business is extremely simple. You should not overcomplicate it. And the things that I have here are all you need, right? As a matter of fact, in all reality, there's definitely some things here that you're probably not even gonna need getting started in the business. So I encourage you to take action immediately. If you've ever thought about it, you wanna make passive income, you wanna make residual income, and you wanna change your life forever, this is a phenomenal business for you. So anyways, go ahead and drop in the comment section down below if there's anything that you think that I missed in the video. I'm happy to make more videos just like it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.